Remembering Ethan by Leslie Newman, illustrated by Tracy Nishimura Bishop. My big brother Ethan was so tall, he had to duck his head when he walked through the front door. My big brother Ethan was so handsome, someone once thought he was a movie star and asked for his autograph. My big brother Ethan was so strong, he could carry me under one arm and buttons under the other arm just like we were two big bags of groceries. But that was before Ethan went away. That was before Ethan died. Mommy won't talk about Ethan. As soon as I say his name, she says, Sarah, don't, and turns her head away. Daddy won't talk about Ethan either. As soon as I say his name, he says, Sarah, please, and folds his arms and sighs. Buttons is the only one who misses Ethan as much as I do. Buttons carries one of Ethan's socks around in her mouth and kneads it with her paws. Buttons sleeps curled up in a circle on Ethan's bed with her whiskers resting on her tail. Sometimes I sleep there too. This morning, Mommy was standing at the stove cooking breakfast. Do you want your eggs scrambled or fried? She asked. I said, I want them funny side up, like Ethan used to say. Mommy smacked her eggs against the side of the frying pan so hard, the shell shattered into a hundred pieces, and the egg dripped all over the floor. I ran upstairs to Ethan's room. Buttons was sleeping on his bed, all curled up in the circle with the whiskers resting on her tail. I miss Ethan, I told Buttons. I hadn't said his name out loud in a long time. Ethan! 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 Ethan, 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 Ethan. I sat down at Ethan's desk and took out some markers and paper. I wrote Ethan's name in all capital letters. I wrote Ethan's name in a small letters. I wrote Ethan's name in yellow, blue, orange, red, and green. When I was finished writing, I took out a new piece of paper and drew a picture of Ethan, giving Buttons and me a double piggyback ride. I carried my picture into the kitchen and hung it up on the refrigerator. When mommy saw what I had drawn, she burst into tears and ran upstairs. Daddy stood up so fast, his chair crashed to the floor, and he ran upstairs too. I stomped back up to Ethan's room. Doesn't anyone but Buttons and me miss Ethan? I yelled as loudly as I could. Doesn't anyone miss Buttons and me remembering Ethan? I yelled even louder. Then I slammed the door, laid down on Ethan's bed next to Buttons, and pulled the covers over my head. A little while later, I came downstairs and found Mommy and Daddy sitting on the living room couch. My picture of Ethan was hanging on the wall right over the fireplace. Are you still mad at me? I asked. We were never mad at you, said Daddy. We were just too hurt to talk about Ethan. I love your picture. It's beautiful, Mommy said. I'm glad you drew it. It will help us remember Ethan. Hearing Daddy and Mommy say my big brother's name out loud made me feel happy and sad at the same time. Come here, Sarah, Mommy said. I sat down between her and Daddy. There was a big book on the coffee table. What's that, I asked. Why don't you open it and see, answered Daddy. I opened the book. Look, Sarah, Mommy pointed. There's Ethan holding you the very first day he came, a big brother. Look, Sarah, Daddy pointed. There's Ethan lighting candles on the birthday cake. He baked just for you. He's always say, Want to cut a rug? Mommy remembered. And then he'd take my hand and twirl me around the room until I was out of breath for laughing. From laughing. He'd always say, I challenge you to a duel. Daddy remembered. And then we'd roll up our sleeves and go at it until I gave in and cried uncle he's he'd always say anyone want to horse around I remembered and then I'd put my arms around his neck and say giddy up and he'd whinny and we'd ride away we sat there a while longer remembering Ethan I curled against mommy and rested my head on her shoulders daddy held my hand Button came downstairs with Ethan's sock in her mouth and jumped into my lap. She was remembering too. 
Mommy wiped her eyes. Daddy blew his nose. Buttons purred. My stomach growled. Who wants breakfast? Mommy asked. I do, I said. I do, said Daddy. While Mommy cooked, I helped Daddy set the table. Then the three of us sat down and ate our eggs. Funny side up, just the way my big brother Ethan liked them. <laughs>